hello everyone so in this video we will see another type of convolution problem we will take x1 of t another signal ram signal and we will see the result of the convolution of this signal with e power minus 2t u of t so as we know first we have to write the convolution integral x1 of t convolution with x2 of t we can write as integral minus infinity to infinity x1 of tau and x2 of t minus tau t tau so first we have to express the given signals in terms of tau and t minus tau so as we know r of t is nothing but a ram signal so r of tau so this we can write it as tau into u of tau tau into u of tau and x2 of t minus tau here we have to replace t with t minus tau so e power minus 2 into t minus tau u of t minus tau so now if we substitute now if we substitute in the formula so that is equal to convolution integral my integral minus infinity to infinity first signal is tau into u of tau the second signal is e power minus 2 into t minus tau u of t minus tau d tau so all the in the convolution problems which are involving the unit step functions first we have to find the integration limits because unit step signal so if you take unit step signal it is 1 only for t greater than or equal to 0 so if the integration lower integration limit is not from minus infinity so it will <coughs> change so we have to find the integration limits so u of tau is 1 per per tau greater than or equal to 0 tau greater than or equal to 0 whereas u of t minus tau is 1 for u of t minus tau is 1 for t minus tau greater than or equal to 0 or we can write it as t greater than or equal to tau or the same we can write it as tau less than or equal to t so that implies that implies u of t minus tau is 1 is 1 for tau less than or equal to t so this is the important point u of t minus tau is 1 for all tau less than or equal to t whereas this one is 1 for tau less than or equal to 0 now we have to find the common product or the common time interval for which both u of tau and u of t minus tau are 1 so now if you draw both the signals on the tau axis u of tau is 1 for simply tau greater than or equal to 0 so if this is 0 so u of tau is 1 u of tau is 1 for all the tau greater than or equal to 0 values for all the tau greater than or equal to 0 values so this is u of tau now if you draw u of t minus tau if you draw u of t minus tau so this is 1 for all the tau less than or equal to t so for example if you take somewhere here t so the signal will start from here and it will exist for all the tau values less than or equal to t for all the tau values less than or equal to t so that means so for this values of t for this values of tau less than or equal to t u of 
so this is u of t minus tau u of t minus tau is 1 for tau less than or equal to t now you have to observe both the signals are present are 1 1 only between 0 to t so that means you can write u of tau into u of t minus tau as 1 for 0 less than or equal to tau less than or equal to t so only between 0 to t u of tau into u of t minus tau is 1 right so now if you substitute in the integral now if you substitute this x values in the integral so the limits are between 0 to t the first signal is tau and the second signal is e power minus 2 into t minus tau d tau now this is you can separate uh, you can multiply e power a plus b you can write e power a minus b or for example e power minus b e power a into e power minus b <coughs> so this you can write it as integral 0 to t tau e power minus 2t and minus of minus will become e power plus 2 tau d tau so e power minus 2t is independent of the integration limits so you can write e power minus 2t outside so the integration is between 0 to t tau into e power 2 tau d tau now we have to apply the uv formula now this is it is in the form of uv formula now we have to apply the uv formula so in this u is tau and v is e power 2 tau if you apply inverse logarithmic i late inverse logarithmic algebraic trigonometric exponential exponential <coughs> comes last so v is this one and u is this one so now if you apply the uv formula e power minus 2t is common so the first one is tau into e power 2 tau pi 2 the limits are 0 to t minus integral 0 to t t so the first we have to differentiate if we apply uv formula so differentiation of tau with respect to d tau is 1 and then integration of the second will give you e power 2 tau by 2 d tau now again you can substitute the limits so it will be e power minus 2t if you substitute the upper limit t it will be t into e power 2t if you substitute the lower limit it is 0 into something will be 0 so it is simply t into e power 2t by 2 so this is the value of the first term so now we are left with the second term again if we integrate it will become e power another 2 tau by you will get another 2 for this we have to apply the limits 0 to t right now it will be e power minus 2t the first term is t into e power 2t by 2 minus so 1 by 4 is common if we substitute the limits it will be e power if we substitute the upper limit it is e power 2t and if we substitute the lower limit it is e power 2 into 0 right 
and then if you further simplify it is e power minus 2t if you take lcm so if you it will be 2 t so here it is 2 t e power 2 t minus and then we have e power 2 t and this minus and minus will become plus and this is 0 so 1 by 4 1 by 4 next if we take this e power minus 2t inside then it will become e power minus 2t and this is e power plus 2t so both will get cancelled we will have 2t minus again this is e power minus 2t and this is e power plus 2t so both will get cancelled so 1 and plus and here we have e power minus 2t and here we have 1 so this will become e power minus 2t by 4 so the convolution result between r of t and e power minus 2t u of t is so this is the result for t greater than or equal to 0 t greater than or equal to 0 so we can write finally this as 2t minus 1 plus e power minus 2t into u of t by 4 so this is the final answer the convolution between r of t and e power minus 2t u of t is this is the final answer r of t r of t convolution e power minus 2t u of t is 2t minus 1 plus e power minus 2t into u of t by 4. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please share, like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get latest video updates.